Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to Adam's Craft Beer Channel. So now we're going to be looking at a Demolen beer. Demolen are a brewery from the Netherlands, um, and Demolen actually means the mill, um, because the mill is exactly what the brewery is. It's based in an actual windmill in the Netherlands. I mean, how Netherlands is that? You know, you can't. It looks perfect. I've seen pictures of it, and it really does look cool. I'd love to visit it actually. It's quite a small place, um, but they do brew quite a lot of barrel aged beers. So I've not had a look at one of their beers on the channel for quite some time because um, you know they're all quite high in ABV and you know they're all they've all got potential to be aged um, this is quite a fresh bottle actually this was bottled in December 2015 I'm now recording this at the end of April 2016 so it's not had much chance to age but I couldn't wait to crack it open I, I'm really really in the mood for this tonight so what is this this is Rasputin the bourbon barrel aged edition 11.4% ABV uh, Rasputin is one of their classic imperial stouts probably one of their most popular imperial stouts with the uh, red wax on the top there as you can see um, I've not had the original in quite some time I think the last time I had it was about two years ago um, and yeah I mean I saw this in my local bottle shop I had to pick it up and I, I think I've had it for about two months but I've not I've not I just really want to crack it open now to be honest so on that note let's get it cracked open into a glass and see what it's all about all right guys we've got the beer poured here and you know when I poured it out I thought it was really really dark brown but it's not it is jet black I'm holding it up to the light and there is nothing getting through it whatsoever and the head is retaining itself for 11.4 percent that tiny little kind of beige head is retaining itself quite well but that just looks beautiful you know it doesn't look as thick as I thought it might do pouring out but it is bourbon barrel aged so let's give it the benefit of the doubt check out the aroma and see what it's all about There's nothing like a barrel aged imperial stout to just sit, sip and smell all night. The, the aroma is beautiful, it really is. It's not too pungent, I must admit. It's not like the bourbon's not bellowing out. It's quite subtle, it's quite smooth on the aroma. It's quite sweet to be honest. It smells a little bit like marzipan. It's got a chocolatey note to it as well. There is some vanilla coming from that bourbon kind of thing. It's not too prickly on the heat or anything on the nose. Yeah, there's a, there's a hint of soy sauce character in the aroma, kind of like a smokiness almost. And maybe, maybe a, maybe just the slightest hint of like roast coffee, but it's not really too robust. It's more sweeter to be honest. But yeah, that, that smells really nice anyway, guys. And it is lace in the glass, a beauty. I mean, look at that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Let's check it out, guys. 11.4%. This is going to go down well. Cheers. Right, how do you hide 11.4% in a beer? I just don't understand. There's a slight alcohol warmth on the back of the palate, but the warmth that you get is a boozy bourbon, and it is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. It, it irritates me. All these people go, oh, it's too boozy, it's too boozy, it's too alcoholic. It's bourbon barrel aged. You know, it's gonna have some sort of bourbon boozy character to it. However, I know there's a difference between alcohol and bourbon. You know, I know that because I drink bourbon besides beer. This doesn't have an alcohol kick. It, it has a warmth, it has the sweetness of bourbon. It doesn't have the cloying kind of acidity of alcohol or anything like that. It's got a lovely, rich kind of fruity character. It really does lace your palate of beauty. Um, but that has got quite a bit of body for um, for a bourbon barrel aged imperial set. I'm gonna say it's a top side medium. You know, it's more oily than thick or anything like that. But you know, most barrel aged imperial stouts do tend to be thinned out quite, quite significantly um, and to say that this is a fresh bottle again you know that's such a well-brewed beer it really is I can see why this is their flagship beer um, or at least Rasputin is anyway but yeah let's get back in front of the sip yeah sweet milk chocolate ends with a bit of dark chocolate but it's not too intense it's not too bitter on the dark chocolate whatsoever there's not too much roast in this beer it's dominated by a lot of sweetness and i'm gonna say that sweetness is coming from like um sugared almonds there's like a nutty character in there maybe some sort of pecan character um there's definitely a marzipan definitely kind of like a um 
a vanilla essence, that sort of thing. There's a slight hint of red berries in there. Maybe some dried fruits. I'm gonna say like um, maybe alcohol soaked, bur uh, excuse me, bourbon soaked raisins or or figs or dates. That sort of thing's definitely got that sweeter dried fruit kind of character. Mm. And on the finish, you know, it's not too bad. I, I actually think the flavour. Um, the flavour is not too intense for a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout, especially this fresh, you know, it, it opens up in the middle of the palate quite significantly and once it's gone down, you know, there's no bit, well there is a slight residual bitterness that's so coming from like a dark chocolate, a coffee roast, that sort of thing, um, but it's more bur it's more bourbon sweetness, you know, on the aftertaste, it's dominated by a lot of bourbon sweetness, I must admit, but I, I am a fan of bourbon, so I'm going to like this type of beer. Um, it's, it's, it's big vanilla, you know, it's kind of like got a, a fluffy marshmallow kind of sweetness to it almost and a nuttiness and a chocolatiness and for for me those are the main flavors that I'm getting out of this beer and again on the finish you do get a nice alcohol warmth going down into the stomach um, exactly what you want on a cold winter's night it's actually spring right now in the UK but tonight is pretty cold anyway so this is definitely going to go down well in front of the fire I tell you that that is Rasputin Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Stout, you can kind of tell that I've relaxed now, can't you? You can tell that I'm kind of like in, in this relaxed mode after taking a couple of sips of that, but oh, I can't wait to go sit this and chill out. Guys, let me know what you think of this beer, let me know your thoughts, your feelings, and please do like, favourite, comment and subscribe, and until next time, I'm going to be saying cheers with this lovely Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. See you in the next video.